I got to talk about this. Robbed and raped at gunpoint. A couple in Memphis was robbed The guy took $600 and he raped the woman. Made the man kneel down on the ground, cross his legs, such such, while he got in the car and raped the woman at gunpoint. She saw him the next day walking down the street and turned to me and called the cops. He's in jail now. These are grown people that have money. The guy, the, her boyfriend, if the story is accurate and correct, the boyfriend had over $600 in his pocket. Why in the world are they tucked in behind a school or something in a dog parking lot? I guess having sex or something. $600 in their pocket. And would you let that go down without putting your life on the line? If this my girlfriend, and you and y'all get robbed at gunpoint, and uh, would would you let that go down like that? You gonna sit outside the car while he and I raping, raping your girl at gunpoint. Now, a person that do that, you can hold a gun on somebody and rape. I don't know exactly what the they yeah, say rape. He didn't say about or six, so he actually I guess she was made to however. But I would like to think that in a situation like that, you just got to kill me, especially if I'm the boyfriend. You just got to pump some bullets in me. Well, you don't tackle a man with a gun, yeah, but at some point, you got to stand up, even if it, even if it do cost your life. I'd rather do that then to watch somebody rape my wife was all right before my eyes at gunpoint. How can you live that down? How can you live that down? If you saw that, just so, you know, I hope to God I never have to witness that or be involved in something like that, but man, You can only when you hear stuff like this, you never been. You can only hope and pray that you never have to witness and be involved in stuff like that. But you, you know, I wonder. Do you want? Do you ever wonder? You know, are you willing to say that? You just got to put some bullets in men' cause before I sit there and watch this. You just gotta take my life. Especially you married. How you how you live that down?
It take years and years. That stuff's messed with your mind. And your wife gonna feel like she ain't secure. You a wimp. You know. Any man should feel like a wimp if they witness this and let it go down. You, I'm sorry, you just got to kill me. That's the way I feel about it. But, again, why are they outside behind a building in the dark where anybody can come up? And apparently he did. But this guy was a regular in the neighborhood. I would like to think that they knew that guy. That woman knew that man. They knew that fellow. And he was crazy. But I'm not built that way. People go out there and rape folks. I see a lot, of, you know, robbing at gunpoint is one thing, but you raping women and stuff at gunpoint or raping women's period. My mind don't operate like that. When, when guys rape women, take it, they have a serious sex demon. And they will rape men. And they will rape anything. I feel sorry for the people who are getting raped. Little kids, little boys, girls dying in Atlanta with HIV. is being passed around. Little kids are being raped by men with AIDS. I heard about one story where a little boy got raped by two men in an apartment, and both of them were HIV positive. This been a few years ago in Atlanta. Man, it's sad. I can't perform under pressure like that. Some them people like that just like I said, they got sex demons. When you take advantage of a person. I don't understand why we have to live in a world with so much foolishness, so much satanic activity. It's a sad, bad situation. A sad world. Well, a man will rape anything. Rape a man. Rape a woman, cause a lot of them enjoy that type of reaction, taking it. They love making people feel bad. But why? Are uh, they hiding out, hanging out in a dark lot, parking lot, instead of spending $60 or so, $80 to go to a hotel, even if it's only for a few minutes? At least you got security. You secure. If I was boyfriend and girlfriend, I wouldn't be I wouldn't feel comfortable hanging out behind a building in the dark doing something like that anyway.
you put yourself in a trap. You putting yourself in a trap. Six hundred dollars in their pocket. I mean, tell me you couldn't take that, couldn't take seventy dollars of that and go rent out a nice hotel room for a few hours, trying to be cheap. Anybody that's been raped and abused by sexual abuse, by I'm sorry, I apologize. On behalf of the men in the world, I, on behalf of all rape victims, I'm saying like this, I apologize. I'm sorry. I never did anything like that. I thank God. I, I, I have feelings for people. When I was younger, coming up, dating girls and going out trying to talk to girls and stuff like that, I never tried to force my way on a woman. Never tried to rape a woman. If I couldn't talk you out of it, volunteer it, I, I never had a desire to take a woman. People are demonic. Be careful. Y'all can't play these games nowadays. Time done got too hard and too serious to be playing these games. Six in a car. Going to dark spots. People creep nowadays. Creeps are everywhere. People are everywhere. Everywhere. Waiting on an opportunity. Be safe. Be safe as possible. Go rent your hotel room. Unless you out in the country somewhere and they get to the point where the country you not you don't have no privacy. Go rent your room somewhere. At least you have that sense of security. And you still leave with most of your money in your pocket. Six hundred dollars. But he gonna pay for that. Them bad deeds. Sowing bad seed bad deeds, doing bad bad deeds. We'll come back to get you. Now he gonna pay for that six hundred dollars in raping that woman. Moreover. Moreover, moreover, he gonna pay for that. 